Hello everyone, it's Tyler, and uh, today I am not on Pueyo server. I am on the Redstone Development Foundation, which is the other server I play on. And uh, I've taken quite a liking to it, so I do spend a good amount of time here. And uh, I've only really made one significant thing so far, and that's what we're looking at right now. It's a TV that is 1,000 pixels, and currently has the capability for 31 different channels. Uh, I've only set four channels, three of which are test channels that just have every single pixel highlighted so that I can find uh, where they're broken, uh, if they are broken. And right now we're looking at the second channel, which is the only real picture that I've made. It just says redstone a couple times. I couldn't really think of anything else besides, like, I don't know, Tyler or something like that. But Let's, let's go around and look at the wiring. I'm sure that this is going to lag like crazy right now. Because uh, even when I'm not running a screen recorder, this thing just lags an insane amount just to be around it because of all the redstone. Well, a lot of people are probably saying, like, what on earth does this mean right now? Well, it honestly isn't that complicated if you know what you're doing. This green part is just busing, which is... Uh, computer terms a uh, transportation system and the yellow is uh, a combination of busing and spacing so you can go up to the up to the yellow bus part bus slash space part you see I can't even like click my flying thing because it's lagging so much but you can notice that each line goes out two more uh, than the one preceding it uh, this in in turn spaces out, wow, I'm just flying all over the place, all right, whatever. Um, this in turn spaces everything out two more blocks and allows me to insert a row in between every one of them, uh, which will serve as the pixels. So each horizontal purple row you see on top is basically a pixel. Um, well, sort of, it's e each horizontal line you see that has a, um, I don't know what you would call this, a nor well, look at, if you look at my mini-map, it's going north-south. Uh, so, yeah, anything that has one under that represents a pixel. Um, so there are 1,000 total pixels. Uh, I think it's like 49 by 20, 21, if I did the math right. It's, I think it's actually 48 by 19, or it's in the, it's in the area of 1,000 pixels, if it's not exact. That's just because I didn't cuboid right in the beginning, but whatever. Um, on this server, we do have cuboid, so this didn't take me as long as you would think. Uh, so now I'm just going to go by. I, I took the liberty of color coding it just for my own satisfaction and for the uh, to make it easier to make a video like this. Uh, it is 12:30, so I am pretty tired right now. Sorry. <laughs> But this, this red part is basically just the display, and it constantly has everything inverted so that uh, I can keep the pixels lit up in the proper, proper way. And as I said before, the yellow is a combination of busing and spacing, and the blue here is additional spacing. It's basically just a connector between this, the yellow spacing and busing part and the purple part, which we're going to get to right now. Uh, the purple part is the encoder, or the frames. Uh, each horizontal line you see here is just one frame, and I just did slash stack for all these. I didn't have to build all of them. Uh, but you can see that there's, for the first one, which is one of the three test frames, there is a torch over every single north-south uh, line, and when one of the uh, when a signal is sent up through this giant green thing, it goes to every single uh, 19 or 20 so uh, east to west lines, and which uh, <clears throat> sorry, which lights up the torches that are on that given line. So by placing all of the torches in uh, whatever place I want to. I can basically customize the picture that I want on it. And that's that's just how each pixel works. And uh, the green part over here is just the channel selector uh, or 
frame selector, however you want to look at it, combined with a little inverter, which is right here. I actually had to throw the inverter in last, <clears throat> last second because I kind of forgot about it. Um, over here, I took the liberty of taking out a individual frame, and uh, it makes it not only easier for the purposes of the video, but uh, to actually make the frames. So I just come over here and place torches and such, and uh, then I highlight and copy and paste it. Um, I think the server is crashing. Okay, never mind. I uh, guess people are just not talking, and it's taking a long time to load. But <laughs> sorry, my friend's talking to me in Skype. I have my mic muted. I told him I was going to make a video, but I, I, th I thought that like I didn't mute it for a second. Um, yeah, so it's just an individual frame with, uh, you can see that the torches are placed, here's an R, you can see right here, there's the loop, and out there. So, uh, and then it's just repeated three times. I got pretty lucky with this, it's actually, uh, to put redstone three lines is actually exactly perfect, one pixel space on each side and one pixel space in between. So I got very lucky with that. Um, this right here is the first thing that I made. Um, it's quite broken now because torches uh, somehow seem to randomly break. Um, I think they're just griefers that come in and they uh, just break random torches and make you go on a frenzy trying to find them so to fix your thing. But it should look like Mario uh, back here. And this is actually a piston display because it works very well with the water. But I quickly decided not to do that because it's just way too laggy as compared to the other one. And you can see that there's no giant thing going here. Um, that's because I have this like stack of inverters right here. But I made this in my, in my noobish days and I didn't realize that uh, each one of these torches would add a one tick delay. So this is essentially a 30 tick repeater here uh, to get all the way to the top. So the bottom ones come out way faster than the top ones, and it just looks really stupid. So I gave up, gave up on that one really quick. Uh, but for all of you, uh, my typical Puego server watchers, uh, if you want to join this server, if you're interested in redstone, I know that I've done quite a bit about redstone on the server. I made the uh, Area 51 project, the redstone test, and I'm currently making redstone school. But... Um, for all of you that might be interested, you can search uh, Redstone Development Foundation on Google. I'm sure you'll find the website. You basically make an account and you join the IRC, which is like Minecraft chat. And uh, then you come on and you show us what you know about Redstone. Uh, typically to, to make it in, you need to know a basic knowledge of logic gates and maybe a couple latches, RS nor latch, you know, all that, that easy stuff. And then there's like... Uh, data flip-flops and T flip-flops and JK flip-flops. Those are, those are relatively what we expect. Um, you could probably come on, just make a decoder and get in. Uh, it's essentially what a lot of people do. Um, here's, here's a little, I think this is four bit. Yeah, it's, no, it's five, five bit decoder. And then here is a, my own designed encoder. It's a, uh, a five bit encoder that I stacked, simply. And, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And then I have a 6-bit encoder over here already for a 7-segment display. And a 7-segment segment, dis segment display is over here. But uh, this this is actually the first thing that I made. Here's a 5-bit um, encoder because I wanted the inputs to be in decimal and not binary. I could have this, um, there's an encoder that goes to a decoder, which essentially cancels it out, and I could have just had the inputs in binary, and it would have left it fine, but, you know, this is typically your first thing. It's pretty easy. So, I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and, uh, in the words of Beric, uh, happy redstoning to everyone. <laughs>